Hello everyone. First of all, may I add my heartfelt congratulations to each of you on a magnificent and more than well-deserved inspection outcome. In all the years I have been involved in education, I have always maintained that, you, uh, that your gut could reliably inform you of an outstanding school. And I can say that I felt this to be the case from an early stage of my involvement with you. And I feel really privileged to be serving alongside you all. So the season of Advent has officially begun and it's a time of waiting, anticipation and hope. And we mark this season with Advent calendars, Christmas trees, garlands and twinkly lights. We make to-do lists, we shop for food and for presents, and we gather, hopefully, for parties, carols and concerts. It's all great stuff. But life does get busier, which can potentially rob us of the gift that the season of Advent offers. That is, space to pause, to be still, just for a moment each day. Maybe even as you open a window on your Advent calendar and to listen to our own inner voice and even the still small voice of God that dwells within each one of us. Space to discern what life is really all about for us. And in my experience, this can lead us to an encounter that is transformative because it connects us to ourselves and with one another and to God. And this connection is at the heart of Advent and the Christmas event it anticipates. God became one of us in the life of Jesus Christ, connecting heaven and earth. The truth is that God is rooted, grounded and earthed in our human lived experience, yours and mine, in all its joys and in all its crappy bits too. So here is a thought to kickstart your Advent reflection. This theme of connection is symbolised in the evergreen leaves of the holly and the ivy. They remind us of the eternal, unchanging love of God for each one of us and for the, and for the promise of resurrection life. Ivy usually grows up some form of physical support. It has to rely on another to grow. So maybe we could ask ourselves, how are we showing our gratitude to those that we rely upon? And how are we showing others that they can rely on us too? So may God bless you and connect you in this first week of Advent. <laughs>